Hi, people. When it comes to dystopias, the names that initially come to mind are more or less the same throughout the world. George Orwell takes the number one spot with its classic 1984, while Ray Bradbury is the name that comes to mind whenever we hear a book is being banned in a country thanks to his brilliant novel, Fahrenheit 451. Similarly, names like Aldous Huxley, Yevgeny Zamyatin, and Anthony Burgess are other names that dominate the genre with their creative pioneer work. However, they're not the only ones. These men's books often make wonders when it comes to creating a terrifying atmosphere that boldly depicts the horrors of a future that's dominated by totalitarian regimes and scary technologies. The pioneer women authors of the genre, however, not only accomplish those aspects, but also add an often overlooked aspect of womanhood in a possible dystopia, which often witnesses tragedy and trauma. Names such as Octavia Butler and Ursula Le Guin are masters in these types of dystopias with their works such as The Dispossessed and Parable of the Sower, respectively. And yet, today, we will focus on another brilliant woman's masterful dystopian work, Margaret Atwood and her novel Handmaid's Tale. Since HPO adapted Handmaid's Tale into a TV series back in 2017, everyone had heard of the brilliance of Atwood's work unless they live under a rock. The show not only adapted the story into a TV show perfectly but also made art with its scenario, cinematography, and overall aesthetic. It rightfully won multiple awards, including several Emmys, and gained major acclaim from both the critics and the fans, including us. The only problem with the show is the fact that waiting for a year for a new season is a nightmare since every single ends with multiple cliffhangers. Back in December 2020, even before the release of Season 4, the show got a confirmation for Season 5. Back then, the showrunner of the show, Bruce Miller, said that they cannot wait to continue the story with such an incredible cast and crew. However, when he was asked if Season 5 will be the last or not, he said he is not sure. We talked about it, Elizabeth Moss and I have talked about it, and the writing staff and I have talked about it extensively, about where we're going precisely. But I do feel like, after this year, it's a good time to reassess, he expressed. Naturally, we hope the show continues as much as it can since it touches on subjects that have never been mentioned on TV before and provides a necessary commentary on women's rights in society. We heard that the filming was about to start in November 2021. Therefore, we expect Season 5 to be released in Fall 2022, with the trailer is being released in Summer 2022. The season will probably continue to focus on June's struggle to get out of Gilead with both of her children and reach back with her family and friends in Canada. We expect almost all main cast members to continue to be present in the show. This means that we will get to see Elizabeth Moss as June Osborne, Yvonne Strahovski as Serena Joy Waterford, Alexis Bledel as Emily, Madeline Brewer as Janine, Anne Dowd as Aunt Lydia, Max Minghella as Nick, Samira Wiley as Moira, Bradley Whitford as Commander Lawrence, and Amanda Brugel as Rita. That being said, it's certain that Joseph Fiennes will not claim his part as Fred Waterford in Season 5 since the Season 4 finale witnessed him being beaten to death by June and others. Of course, this doesn't mean that he will continue to terrify us by popping up in various flashback scenes throughout the season. What do you think about Handmaid's Tale? Are you a fan of the series? Do you think it deserves the hype? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe or share the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.